there she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. Okay. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude <laughs> to keep a goddess waiting. <laughs> Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. You ready am for I? this? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. <laughs> this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. My... Omnipotent, uh, omniscient, ex-lover. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Do you know what you're going to say to her? During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. <laughs> Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. I doubt what she has to say. You'd make a fine three-dragon anti-player, you know? <laughs> I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Exactly. Approach it like a particularly high-risk round of three-dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight. And then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The outer planes experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Hmm. Okay. of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You <laughs> discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember, you were my lover, my chosen. Yeah. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A ah. temporary measure but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god, its worshippers a scourge of soulless illithids. 
If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Hmm. What, what, what would she do with the crown of Carsis, right? Aha, uh -huh. let's talk to Gail. The car site weave. I had no idea. Do you realize what this means? The orb is no stray piece of ordinary magic. It is something entirely different. The nascent form of a new divine power. Of course, I couldn't control it. I was mortal. But once I reforge the crown, the power of a god will be mine to command. The orb will answer to me. I don't think that's a good idea. Exactly. Sounds evil, right? Evil is a reductive term. Hey. Too often used to dismiss choices the observer lacks the imagination to understand. Let me assure you, Carside Weave has no more inherent evil to it than a a child in the womb, or an axe half forged on the blacksmith's anvil. It is a tool ready to be shaped by its wielder, by me. And you know me to be someone of reasonably sound moral judgment, don't you? I... I but they didn't. I always thought it was a miracle that I survived, but I'm starting to wonder if there was more to it. What if it chose me? Exactly, this one. I don't think you're quite seeing what I'm seeing. Think about it. The crown of Carsus, the Netherstones, the Carsite Weave. No more than a tadpole's breath from being reunited. This is my chance to get back everything that was taken from me. Everything Mistra denied me. And once I have it, I can forge a better world. Be a better god. I don't know I about that. To help me. Uh, let's say this one, right? Well then, what more is there to discuss? All we need to do is stay focused on the task at hand. Defeating that elder brain. After that, you can leave the rest to me.